goest out to battle, when thou goest out to battle against, thine enemies, against thine enemies, and seest horses, and, seest horses, and, chariots, and chariots, and people, and people more than thou, more than thou be, not afraid, be not afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Is with thee. Brought thee up, which brought thee up out of, the land of Egypt. out of the land of Egypt. Just tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. they may have come up, may have come up, but they going down. But they going down. And it shall be. It shall be when you have come now. When you have come now unto the battle, unto the battle, the, the, the priest, that, that the priest shall approach, shall approach and speak unto the people, and speak unto the people. And shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, Hear, O Israel, Hear, O refuge. Ye approach this day, Ye approach this day, unto battle, unto battle, against your enemies. Against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint. Let not your hearts faint. Tell your neighbor, don't faint. Don't faint. But fear not. Fear not. Do not tremble. And do not tremble. Neither. Neither. Be ye terrified. Be ye terrified. Because of them. Because of them, tell your neighbor, 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 don't be terrified, don't be terrified, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Even if they come up against you, even if they come up against God's you, God's on your side. God's on your side. Okay, read on, read on. For the Lord your God, for the Lord your God is He, is He that goeth with you, with, is He that goeth with you to fight for you, to fight for you against your enemies, against your enemies to save you, and to save you. And the officers, and the officers shall speak unto the people, shall speak unto the people saying, saying, What man is there? What man is there that has built a new house, that built a new house and, have not dedicated and have not dedicated it? Let him go. Let him go and return to his house. And return to his house. Lest he die in the battle. Unless he die in the battle. In the battle. And another man. And another man dedicated. Dedicated and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm neighbor. not gonna die. I'm not going to die. In what God's given me. In what God's given me. Okay, go on, read, read, read. Read. Come on, come on. And what man is and what he? what man is he? Uh-huh. That have planted a vineyard. That have planted a vineyard. And have not eaten of it. And what man is there? And what man? And what man is there? And what man is there? That have betrothed a wife. That have betrothed a wife. That have not taken her. And have not taken it. Let him go. Let him go. And return unto his house. And return unto his house. Lest he die in the battle. He die in the battle and another man take it. And another man <laughs> eat of it. <coughs> I want to do the look, just look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Win in the battle. Win in the battle. You may be seated. Look on the other side of you and tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. We're going to win this battle. We're going to win this battle. <laughs> Your battle is. And you don't know what my battle 
battle we is. We don't know what my battle is. But we're going to win this but battle. We're going to win this battle. God has always been against fear. The first thing God says is do not be afraid. God says do not be afraid. Many of us, because of the word afraid, we are ashamed to do it. We're scared to do it. We don't think we're worthy of doing it. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. So the reason why we won't do some things is because we don't know who's going to catch us. We don't know if we're going to make a mistake. We don't know if we're going to uh, 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 make it seem like, well, I said God was going to do something and then he didn't do it. Let me tell you one thing. If God doesn't do it in the time he said he's going to do, you just keep waiting. He's going. He's going to do it. Uh, Psalms 118, verse 6, read. Brother, can you get that for me? The Lord is on my side. The Lord is on who? On my side. The Lord is where? On my side. The Lord is where? The Lord is on my side. On my side, y'all. The Lord is on my side, okay? I will not fear. I will not what? I will not fear. I will not fear. In other words, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. God has given us soundness, y'all. Some of us people have worked on your soundness. You gotta get away from folk that's trying to work on your soundness. Are you saying, are them saying to you, ah, you don't deserve that? You really think God will do that for you? You really think God will turn that around? You really think God will work that miracle? Yes! I believe God. I believe that with God all things are possible. I do believe. God said, be not, be not afraid of them. That's why he said to us in Psalms 118 verse 6, because I'm on your side. That's the reason why I don't want you to fear. God said in Isaiah 41 verse 10, uh, Brother, you got that? Let's read it. Fear thou not. Fear thou not. For I am with you. For I am what? With you. I'm what? With you. God is with us, y'all. He's with us, y'all. I got preached part of this verse at a funeral just the other day. And he said, and God said, he's what? He's with us. Okay, go on. I will strengthen thee. I will strengthen thee. Yeah. Yay. I will help thee. Yeah, I will help thee. I will uphold thee. I will uphold thee. With the right hand. With the right hand. Of my righteousness. Of my righteousness. See, you don't have to be. <coughs> you don't have to walk around with a spirit of dismayment. Wondering if God's going to do it. If God said it, he's able to perform it. Fear not. Fear will put bondage on you. You deal, God says to us as believers, you deal with the fear and I'll deal with your enemies. Did y'all hear me? You deal with your fear and God said, and I'll deal with your enemies. In other words, you have to, as a believer and a child of God, get rid of the spirit of fear. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Yes, I do know how it's going to turn out. The Bible tells me God has not given me the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. In, 2022, in 2022, I will not walk, I will not walk in, the spirit of fear. in the spirit of fear. I will, I will win the battle. Win the battle. sure I deliver this message today. But God will deal with your enemies. In other words, many of us want to deal with our enemies. God said, you take your hand off your enemy. Don't you, don't you worry about your, your job for your enemy is to love your enemy. You just love them and I'll deal with them. But you just deal with the fear that you're walking in. The not knowing, don't you, let me tell you what, and we as believers walk in there, I, I don't know y'all, because we walk, I walk by I can't see it, but I believe it. I can't touch it, but I know he's going to give it to me. Tell your neighbor, 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 deal with the fear in your life. The fear in your life. And God, I deal with your enemies. And God, I deal with your enemies. A lot of people are really defeated because they have a lack of faith. We sometimes give the fear more power than it ought to have. 
Did y'all hear me? We give the fear more power than what we ought to give it. Minister Ophelia, you, you know when you were going for your doctor's degree, you know you went up against some fears, but you were determined that I'm going to get this degree. So she had to conquer. She had to say, I'm going to deal with these fears. Sometimes she had to sit down and maybe she cried while she did with them. Sometimes she got discouraged while she was dealing with those fears. But what came out of dealing with the fears, y'all, is she became a doctor, y'all. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. I'm going to win this battle. not be afraid of them despite all the things and all the dangers that you might encounter. Don't be afraid of them. He said to them, I commanded you, it's a command to not be fearful. Tell your neighbor, it's a command, it's a command. not to be fearful. Israel was commanded not to fear for God, for the Lord your God is with you. Yet Israel was given a reason not to fear. For the Lord your God is with you. And God didn't, didn't and God did not tell them, I don't want y'all to deny the enemies. I don't want y'all to deny that they're here. He said, but what I want you to do, would you have more? I want you to know they may have more than you got. They may, they may be conquering and winning more battles than you are. But God said to them, but God asked them to recognize. The great fact that the Lord was with them. Did y'all hear me? You need to recognize the great fact that God is with you. And God is not with you because you've been perfect. God is not with you because you crossed every T. God is not with you because you doubted every I. God is with you because you have to deal with your fears. Yeah, I know it, not knowing. Something else for us as people of God. Let me tell you what he said to them. God did not ask Israel to have a blinded trust in him. They couldn't trust him as they went into battle because he had proven or provided for them himself. He had proven himself mightily and faithful for them. But he had a track record. Did y'all hear me? I said, but God had a track record. Ask your neighbor, God got a track record with you. In other words, have God done enough in your life that you know he's going to bring you out of this? Do you know that God has done enough in your life that if he's seen you through this, if he's seen you through that, he's going to see you through this? Tell your neighbor, he brought me through this, and he brought me through that. And I'm grateful. God had a track record that could be trusted. And I want to tell somebody today that God's got a track record that can be trusted. You can trust in the Lord that he will not fail you. Isaiah, I know Psalms 34, verse 4 and 5, right, Brother Bobby? I sought the Lord, I sought the Lord and, he heard and he heard me and delivered me, and delivered me from, all from all my fears. The Bible talks about when David said, and I sought the Lord. In other words, I went out for the Lord. Let me tell you what, when you go out for the Lord, see, fear cannot stay where the presence of God is. That, that's why, that's why it's on you. We just get in the presence of God, y'all. Fear would just take off and leave you. Because fear cannot dominate in the presence of God. Huh? Yeah, 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 get that. Because when the presence of God come down, that see, y'all, you hear me? And the glory of God come down. You know, God has to disappear. Frustration has to disappear when the presence of God comes down. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. we're going to win this battle. We're winning battle. And I sought the Lord and he heard me. See, see some folks are calling on God and God not hearing them. Tell your neighbor, the Lord is hearing me. The Lord is hearing me. A high reaper, Bobby. And delivered me. And delivered me from, all my fears. from all my fears. He delivered me from what? How did I get delivered from my fears? I had to seek the Lord, y'all. I had to get in a quiet place. 
I had to worship God in order to deal with your fear. You got to get in a secret place by yourself. You got to talk to the Lord. Only got a few more minutes. Go on, brother. They looked unto him. They looked unto him. And were lighted. And, were lighted. and, their, faces and their faces were not ashamed. Were not ashamed. See, when the presence of the Lord come down, the Bible said, and they looked unto him and were lighted, and their faces were not ashamed. When the glory of the Lord come upon you, y'all, when the presence of God come upon you, it'll make you not ashamed. Because when God comes down, he deals with the fear. Fear has to dismiss itself. Fear has to get out of the way, y'all. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor? I'm going to win the battle. I'm going to win the battle. Because the Lord, God, the Lord is on my side. He's on my side. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Read right quick. Be strong. Be strong. And of a good courage. And of a good carriage. Fear not. And fear nor be not. Afraid of them. Nor be afraid of who? Of them. of them. Okay, so in other words, it's more than one, right? So y'all got to understand that you're going to run up against more than one fear. You're going to run up against a fear, and then sometimes you run up against another fear. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. God's got my back. Got my God's back. got me. God's got me. First John 4 and 18 read. There is no fear in love. There is no fear in where? In love. There's no fear in love. Love. For perfect love, cast it, out fear. cast it out all, cast it out fear. Because fear, because fear torment. is tormented. What, what causes fear to be tormented? Love, perfect love, y'all. It causes it to be tormented. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. you got to love everybody. That's why you got to deal. You got to, you got to deal with your fears. And you got to let God deal with your enemies. Because fear, cast it out. Perfect love cast it out all fear. Uh huh. And he that feareth is not made perfect wed in love, in love y'all. See, he that is, he that is, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. And so, what the Lord is saying to us in 2022 is that I want the church to understand that I'm getting ready to do some things, but I cannot do them until they get out of the spirit of fear. They got to get out of the spirit of fear to the point that the Bible said that the fear, fear is made uh, that he that fear it is not made perfect in love. And see, when you start loving, God start moving. Uh, that's why I told people and I'm telling people everywhere I go, you got to love even your enemies. Uh, you got to love those that despitefully use you because love does something that nothing else can do. See, you trying to talk you tried to talk to your enemy, but all you got to do is love your enemy. And when you love your enemy, God will deal with them. That's why the devil tries his best to get something in our heart. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. He tries to get something in your heart. Because he knows if the devil can get something, the devil can get something in your heart. He knows that God can't move. Because when you hold iniquity and you hold the Lord cannot move. The Lord cannot show himself strong in my head. But tell your neighbor, neighbor, we're going to win the battle. We're going to win the battle. Now that's 
the world get out. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Isaiah picked it back up. And he said, for, for I am the Lord, your God. I will hold your right hand. I will be with you. Fear not. I am on your side. Fear not. I am your helper. Tell your neighbor, my help is here now. Yeah. Uh -huh. 